Hi everybody. So yesterday we had a look at the Matrix Delay plugin and saw how it can be fun on tempo changes and with automation. So in a way that's complete now. And today I just want to show you some basic setups that you can do with that to add some texture to your music. And of course it's a bit of demonstration and maybe inspiration for you. And I've connected my keyboard to my audio interface directly. And before you ask, yes, it's the famous Korg M1. Some of you might have heard it on one or another song. But well, that's not the sounds that we're going to use today. Here I have a very simple piano. And that's really the sound that comes from the keyboard. There's no processing on it. And that's also the reason why it sounds so boring. First, let's remove some of the muddiness from that sound. Take out some of the um, low mids and give it a bit of high presence. And now let's add a bit of reverb. Make it wide. Bit high pass filtering, no damping, more length, can sound like this. And now let's add that matrix delay. And what I want to do now is a simple stereo ping pong delay, and I want that to be true stereo. So we would need two of the delay lines for the left input and two of the delay lines for the right input. And I don't want too much feedback or something like this. Let's do that roughly. And also a little brain twist. We want to have quarter notes delay, but it should be a ping pong delay. So we have to set this to half notes. because if we're adding half notes in between each other, we get quarter notes. And on delay line two and four, we choose another initial time gap. And this is not half notes, but quarter note. So this should give us now ping pong style delay. Let's switch that here that we can see bars. So we see, um, exactly where they sit and maybe see the result so that we can see, okay, that's kind of ping pong, ping pong and so on. And now let's do that stereo. And now we should have a quarter note ping pong. In true stereo. Okay, now that it's set up, I prepared this little drum loop, which we had uh, recent days. Let's hear that again. Very basic. And now we can record a little piano part. Okay, now that's fine. But while recording, I already heard that we need to adjust a bit for the mixing here. And this is um, the dry signal is not loud enough. So let's turn that up a bit. And maybe the feedbacks are still too long. Let's turn them down a bit. And here again.
Okay, that seems okay. Let's hear that without the effects on it. No, that's boring. Isn't that a lot better? Now let's try to create a bass. And I have that bass here on my keyboard. And now let's pretend I can't play off beats. So I can only play one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And that's not what I want to have for the song. Um, so I use the matrix delay, of course. And this time I completely turned down the direct output. So we will only hear delays. And let's see what we have here in the input mixer. Delay line one and delay line two receive signal from the keyboard. And delay line one plays it back once. So we have no feedback here, which also means that the delay time doesn't play a role. It's all about the initial time gap, which is here one eighth. And for the next offbeat, we would need to have an offset of three eighth notes, which would be um, a dotted quarter note. Now let's come to the second half of the bar, which we do with these um, delay lines. And they are set to half a bar. And this comes from delay line one feeds into delay line three and delay line one already has its offset. So on the second half of the bar with that offset, delay line three plays and then delay line four plays. Let's hear what we have. So now let's see if I can't play the off beats. Can the matrix delay play the off beats for me? Let's try that. Let's switch off the effect and only play that boring stuff. And this already will do. So let's edit this a bit, turn on the um, effects and now we should have the offbeat stuff. It's not perfect, but um, let's take that and maybe already throw this away and throw that away. And let's do another part. So we make another track, select the correct input and see if we can find a nice sound from the keyboard. So this is the bass. So now here I found a little bell klingling thing. This sound from the keyboard already features a bit of uh, delay stuff, but let's ignore that and use our on delay. And now this time, try to keep it simple and just do quarter notes here in the first delay line, maybe with a little filtering and a dampening in the feedback factor and a bit of bit reduction. And in the second delay line, Let's try something crazy and go with fast and with a bigger um, initial time gap. And also do some filtering here. And let's hear how it sounds. Oh wow, this was too hard here. Let's see if we can complete the song now.
Maybe something like that. I'm sure you can all do that better. And this was just a bit for the fun. Tomorrow we'll have the last video for this year. And so long, have fun with the plugins and bye bye.